Any guys, I just wanted to give an update on what's going on with Sin, uh, which is a project that we started before, um, before I graduated college at least. Uh, so basically, essentially, uh, we have the kind of starting, well not really starting area, but we have uh, basically like the player lounge. And so this is basically the holding cells, which we uh, dubbed cell block 13 until we get a different name. It might actually just stay that way. So uh, this is just the player controller or the camera. So each of these are actually cells, but it's also gonna be where vendors are gonna be. Um, and you can see the shelves right here. You can actually, you will eventually see like weapons and stuff like that uh, be sold, blueprints for weapon specs or uh, abilities, armor pieces. This right here is where you will access your hub of uh, like your wares. Um, this is gonna be a global trading network to where you basically will be able to uh, uh, trade with other players. And so like you, we're, we're gonna try to make uh, all the weapons and armor and even abilities player made with stats uh, to where uh, higher level players will be able to make better things and be able to have a player driven economy. We'll see how that goes. Um, here's a mailbox where you actually will receive your items and in game uh, events. Here is another mailbox. We got a lot of mailboxes uh, and more lockers to be able to get into your storage. These are actually monitors that will display well, this one specifically will display uh, the damage that you're outputting for a specific event or a specific weapon or anything like that. And these will uh, eventually be active to be able to test your weapons, new abilities, anything like that. This is more or less of like a close quarters range to where you can actually come in and test your abilities, your uh, flick shots or anything like that come through and get times kind of like how modern warfare 2 uh, had that kind of game mode and then here is a basic shooting range where you can test your fall off damage and these will actually go out to uh, x distance and come in closer to, so you can test weapons uh, at their fall off damage as well um, currently we have this pretty much set in stone of how we want it to look like very uh, metallic, glossy, uh, very clean and pristine. Um, and then finally got a first person shooter kind of template going. And so we can kind of test out that. And we don't have any ammo for this and I haven't put down the pickups, but you can see at point blank, you can actually see a spread. And so this character is actually from the, uh, the starter uh, first person shooter game that the Unreal Engine kind of allows you to toy around with. And then I'm just going to go from there, uh, build out a character, uh, put different sounds. And that, I don't want to copy and paste what they did, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's a start. So uh, right now, these screens right here will show like... Uh, you know top players like a top leaderboard live feed this will have events or anything like that this will show you like uh, damage or what you set your range to or anything like that uh, this will tell you the damage of your name and what target you shot on and all that fun stuff and this will be just more displays and stuff like that we would like to show like actual live streams live on that but that takes a lot of computing power i don't think that's ever going to happen but come up here you can actually see weapons or armor or anything like that through this glass and so again you got to change a lot in the character one the size everything like that the camera height but you should be able to see everything then we'll change that up a little bit too just to get it to not be so blocky but yeah it's coming along uh it took me a little bit to figure out what i wanted to do in terms of first or third person at first we were going to do third person and i was like you know what it might actually be a lot better if we did a first person view because you you are you you know you're not 
taking control of somebody else. So this is what we got so far. Um, I'm going to be basically building out mechanics using this map right here to kind of test, you know, uh, fireballs, new weapons, uh, different mechanics, and then we'll get a test, uh, a stress test map going to where we can actually uh, uh, fight each other and uh, do some balancing and stuff like that and probably get a very, very rough and dirty alpha out and about. So stay tuned.